Also sei vorsichtig. Verdopple die Anzahl der Wächter. Sie werden zurückschlagen. Wir müssen dafür bereit sein. Hi, Mr. Neff. This is private property. Who are you? Oh, what um, are you doing I, here? Uh, I am uh, Sam McCall. I did some freelance work for Mr. Karpov. Oh, yeah, right. The lady captain. What can I do for you? Well, if you're running things now, you can give me a job. You shouldn't be carrying that. It doesn't matter how much you protest. I'm going to exact revenge on the animals that harm Maximista, and no one can dissuade me, including you. I don't really know how much you know about my work, but in addition to piloting, I can also supervise landings. I'm aware Mr. Karpov was very impressed by you, and if memory serves, so was Jerry Jacks. Really? Well, what does Jerry have to do with any of this? Nothing, just making an observation. Men have notoriously bad judgment when it comes to beautiful women, but another woman might not be so easily swayed. I am not quite sure how I should take that. <laughs> Why don't you just take it as a compliment and not strain yourself trying to figure it out any further? Come back in half hour. I'll have a job for you. Great. I will see you then. Why don't you tell me what happened? Maximista was accosted by two Russian marauders. They left her for dead. Crumpled it in a heap on the park stairs, exactly where I found Wise Georgie, not even a year ago. Is, is she okay? Yeah, she's in the hospital, but unharmed. Uh, at least to the naked eye, with a head injury, it can be stealthy, not immediately what, apparent. She, she was hit in the head? No, she, she hit it on a fall, but hard enough to get knocked out. And that's how I found the only woman of my heart. Unconscious. She was so still, stone cold, I thought she was dead. But, she, but she's not. You just said she's fine. Yeah, but that doesn't fine. negate what the Russian thugs did. Maximista is tiny. Her, her bones are delicate. I picked her up. She was, she felt weightless. Her fragile femininity is no match for burly Russian thugs. But they brutalized her anyway, and they need to be held accountable. That's why I'm going to take care of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate your offer of intercession, but this is a very personal no, matter to me. It's a very personal matter to me. Because Maxie's under my protection as much as anyone else, and I swear to you, whoever attacked her is gonna pay. I, I understand what you're going through, okay? I've been there. I know that you love Maxie. The thought of anyone hurting her makes you so mad that all you want to do is strike back. You think whatever you have to do is worth the price, and I'm telling you right now, it's not. You cross that line, it's like walking into quicksand. You fall into a darkness and it haunts you. I never want you to experience that. That's why you let me take care of this. It's Bernie. I gotta take this. No, no, hold, hold. Spinelli! Yeah. We retaliate immediately. I like this already. Because, uh, listen, I don't, I don't have much time, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. The Russians, they have absolutely no idea that I was working undercover or that I was on the boat with Jerry. They just think that I was a good captain and I was in it for the money. Okay, so... so I contacted their lawyer, Sasha Donov, and I asked her to keep me on, and she agreed. And before you even try and talk me out of this, it's not going to happen because this is my way back in with the Russians, and I'm no, going to take it. You can't do this, Sam. Why? Are you kidding me? No one else is in a position to get evidence, Lucky. I've seen the devastation these guys leave behind. Maxie was assaulted just after she left your apartment. Well, doesn't that give you pause? She was obviously being followed. They could have easily broken into my apartment, and they didn't. They targeted her for a reason. Why? And we're going to find out. Through channels, but not, not by putting your life at risk. These are serious guys, Sam. Yeah, exactly why they need to be stopped. And it's exactly what I'm going to do. I've had the warehouse on Mason under 24-hour surveillance. There's been a lot of activities since last good, night. Good, probably a new base of operation. What do you want to do? 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a meeting with Sasha. I'm going to tell her that I want a truce and she's going to believe me since everybody thinks I want to avoid confrontation. I never bought into that theory. Well, that theory is going to work for us right now because once she's in the meeting place, we hit the warehouse. I don't want anyone coming out of there alive. Critical shipment is being landed tonight. You will supervise with the help of my associates. Okay, sure. I mean, as long as you know, I get paid in cash upon completion. Not a problem. All right. This is Laud. He speaks a little English, and he'll instruct you as you go. But first, Laud. Hey, whoa, easy on the... She's clean. I would appreciate a warning next time. Look, I have no track record with you. I have no reason to trust you. That'll have to be earned. Let me know when the shipment comes in. I have a meeting to go to. Wait over there. We'll leave shortly. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Whatever you say. We're going to hit, and we're going to hit hard. We're going to make the Russians rethink their whole plans, but I don't want any civilians to get hurt, so your intel needs to be right. Everybody in that warehouse has to be in the syndicate because we're not leaving any survivors.